Hi, I'm author Stacy McAnulty. Happy Earth Day! I'm so excited to celebrate our planet with you. I don't know about you, but Earth is the only place I've ever called home, so she has a very special place in my heart. I even wrote a book about her. It's this, Earth, my first 4.54 billion years. I thought we would read this together today. Sound good? Earth, my first 4.54 billion years by Earth with Stacey McAnulty, illustrated by Earth and David Litchfield. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like a family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once and circling the sun. That takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, seven hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, very cranky. Aww. Then I started to cool off and things got wet, really wet. It rained for thousands of years. I'm not kidding, thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together to make bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Then Pangaea split into seven separate continents. Things are always changing. As I got older, stuff began to grow. Life! And this timeline shows it all the way from the beginning 4.54 billion years ago when Earth arrived all the way to now. And um, the newest thing noted on here is humans. 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens. You humans have big brains and walk on two feet. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorite. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years until... Asteroid! It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But in the inside, on the same planet, awesome. We have the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes humans forget to share and play nice and clean up after themselves. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things. We love you, Earth! And we certainly do. And at the last page, there is some more information. So if you want to learn even more about our awesome home, you can check that out. So we've read Earth. And also in our universe series, we have Moon and we have Sun. These books are all available now, part of our universe collection of books. But I've got some exciting news. We've got another one joining the crew, and that is going to be Ocean Waves for All. This one, again, written by me and illustrated by David Litchfield. And it is a gorgeous book, and hopefully um, you'll learn some new facts about what's happening beneath the waves right here on our planet. I wanna share a couple little spreads with you as a teaser about this book. So here is the opening page. Dude, I am ocean. You know my many names, Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, Indian, Southern. It's all excellent me. My salt water flows across the planet as one. I'm free. Do you like my surfer voice? I'm trying, I'm trying. How about another one? Let's take a look at this one. Oh, this is so pretty too. 
Life on Earth began in my epic waters, way small at first, like microscopic man. Bacteria, algae, single-celled organisms, but life grows, changes, and gets totally interesting. Jellyfish, multi-celled organisms, plant life, fish. So pretty. Let's do one more. Oh, I like this one. This is the zones. I'm a deep layered soul. Up top, sunlight zone. Then twilight zone, midnight zone, abyss. And finally, trenches. My deepest spot at 11,030 meters is the marina trench. I could swallow Mount Everest. So that's just a tiny taste of ocean waves for all that is going to be, this is going to be hitting bookstores and libraries in May of 2020. So be sure to check it out. Um, thank you for tuning in. Happy Earth Day. Um, let's treat our planet and our ocean with respect. We need them. So take care, guys. Bye.